As a child, Rosa Parks was shy, reserved, at least on the outside. On the inside, she was absolutely absorbing the gospel and listening closely to God, who, as she said, was everything to me. Through every ordeal, she'd repeat some scripture to herself. From Corinthians, we were all made to drink from one spirit. From Luke, the parable of the persistent widow who prays and prays for an unjust judge until finally he sees the light. So it's no surprise that when warned that she would be arrested, Rosa Parks didn't have to look a very far for courage. She really didn't have to look anywhere. I felt quite determined. Uh, I felt determination, I should say, come over my body uh, like a quilt on a winter night. You see, humility isn't compatible with bravery. And we put God uh, before ourselves when we make in God we trust not just a a motto, uh, but a mission, as Rosa Parks did, any burden can be lifted. This statue speaks for itself, and today we speak for a nation committed uh, to remembering, and more import importantly, emulating Rosa Parks. So we place her here, here in a chamber where many fought to prevent a day like this, and right in the gaze of Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy. It brings, it brings to mind Lady, Lady Liberty herself, rising amid the, the titans of finance and presiding uh, over New York Harbor, the promise of America clear for all to see.